What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to edit B-roll footage in Final Cut Pro 10 uh, while also using uh, graphics and titles and transitions. So this video is going to be very helpful if you've been wanting to know how to edit you know, very simple footage in Final Cut Pro 10 and how to edit the video to the music if you have music. And uh, I, of course, am going to show you how to also add the graphics and titles and stuff like that. Now, this video is sponsored, so the pack that we're going to be using is available to purchase down in the description. And if you guys do visit that link, if you visit the second link, actually, for anyone who's a content creator or a YouTuber, then this link will be beneficial because not only can you use the footage, but you can also buy a subscription license so that you can get access to millions of creative assets you know, from graphics to video uh, to web templates and music tracks, as well as stock photos for only $16.50 a month. So be sure to visit that link down in the description. And uh, without further ado, let me show you how to edit B-roll footage just like this. I like to first add my music into the timeline and then edit from there. So I'm gonna zoom up here and you're gonna see if I push play. You have that kind of very tropical kind of Sam Colder vibes with this video, but I thought this is a very cool song that can absolutely perfectly match this shot. So what I want to do is I want to first start trimming this down closer to where the beat drops, which is about, I don't know, seven seconds, maybe that's too long. So there is pretty good. So I'm going to leave it like between five seconds long as for the intro. So I'm going to drag my first clip, which is this one right above my media, and it's going to look like this. So once I'm here, what I want to do is I'm going to first zoom up the video clip. Uh, so I'm first going to lay out all the clips first. So I'm going to press Shift Z. So we're going to go number two. We're going to drag that there. Make sure we drag that there. Uh, number three is going to be this one. Click and drag here. Uh, we're also going to do number four, which so I want to make sure I get the full clip here. So I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to make sure I drag that next to here. And then number five, we're going to drag that there. So now we have all the clips in the timeline and now we can start editing or cutting the video down. So I'm going to select all of these clips here and get rid of this letterbox. So I'm going to go into the inspector window and I'm going to go into scale and just make this bigger so we can get rid of that kind of letterboxing. And now what I want to do is zoom into the timeline and I'm going to trim this to where, you know, the actual, the main clip is going to happen. So push play. And right there, I want to cut where you kind of hear that kind of the music kind of fade out really quick. And then right as you hear that kind of hi-hat kind of kick start again, and that's where you're going to use your second clip or your second scene. So I'm going to trim, not completely trim this whole clip, but I'm going to cut it here. And then the next shot here is going to be him showing the girl the, the photo. So I'm going to delete that because we don't need that information. I'm going to click and drag this, and it's still part of that first clip. So if I push play. From here, I think this is quite a, a little bit long in my opinion. So I'm going to trim this down and move this over here. I want to make the song a little longer here just to fill in this shot a little bit more. Something like this. So do you hear that like kind of like a, a finger snap kind of thing? Right there is where I made that sh that kind of uh, cut and that's how you want to edit your clips too. If they're off sync, it might feel a little weird like this Do you see what I mean? So it's really better if you edit to the to the beat pretty much And then at this point we can just trim this down because we already know right here That's where we can cut it and then the next scene will appear here 
perfect. So once we're at that point, we want to add our intro. So we're going to go into the titles. We're going to go into the uh, graphics collection. So the logo is going to be number 15. I think this one looks perfect for this kind of video. So I'm going to click and drag this one above my media. It's going to be right about the very beginning, I guess. We're going to go into the inspector window and we're going to go into the parameters. I'm going to change the background to none because I don't want a color, solid color background, and I don't want a gradient as well. And it's gonna look something like this. That's actually perfect. <laughs> I did not even time that at all, and it just faded out at the right moment. So right about here is where I'm actually gonna make this cut here, and then here. And then we're going to make this one a little longer. So what I'm going to do is I move the playhead right here and then trim that and then move it over. And then you can actually f make this black so it can look something like this. So we can press command B. We can really, uh, just make this black and look like this. That could also look cool, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a transition from the pack. So I'm gonna go into the transitions, well, number four maybe, I'll go ahead and push play. So that looks a little better, but if you think you don't need a transition there, you can just delete that, and then you can just add the transition at the beginning. Something like that. Maybe this one's not too good as for the beginning, but you can swap that one out for this one. That looks good. So once we're there, we're gonna work on the second clip here. So let's see what that looks like. And we're also gonna make the audio a little bit quieter so it's not too loud. So right here, we have this really long shot, which is very unnecessary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down quite a bit. So he's opening his backpack. Right here, I'm gonna trim, make that first cut. And then right here where he begins to open up the next one, I'm gonna cut that and delete that middle piece. And then right, Right here, there's a little clap kind of kick. So I'm gonna just move that over so it looks like this. And then right there again, right here, I'm gonna press B and then the next shot can be something like him getting his camera. So I'm gonna delete that. And then right there, it fades out to like a little ding. So I'm gonna make another cut, press B and then delete that end piece. And now we can move over our next clip. It's gonna be number four, actually. I'm not sure why I named it number four, but we're gonna switch that one over and I'm gonna push play. Here, where it starts to focus, it focuses on the camera first and then him, so I'm gonna trim this down and then move this over. Perfect, and then right here, we're gonna trim that, so we're gonna press B and then delete the rest, and then the next shot can be you know, a different scene. So this one here, we're gonna add an element. So we're gonna go into the titles. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the, in the we're in the graphics collection again, but what we wanna do is we're gonna go to the very bottom and I wanna show you this really cool kind of category, which is going to be the shape accents. So you have a bunch of accents that you can use. You can also change the color on these. So what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of use like a, possibly this one here, which is like a lines effect. Lines shoot two. I'm going to drag that right above my media. I'm going to zoom in here. And it's going to start at the very beginning because that's where it starts. So if I push play, so we're going to move this over the camera. So it's going to start like that. And I want to make this bigger by clicking on this edge and just drag that up. And we're going to change the stroke width to something thinner, like something like this, maybe even more like uh, three. And you can also change the color. So you click on solid color. You can change these sliders here. However, I'm gonna go with white for the time being just to make everything cohesive. Right click and go to new compound and we're gonna name this uh, shape one, press enter, press command R and just drag this inwards to match the length of this clip, this one. And if you think it's still a little slow, just click and drag this inwards a little bit to match that sound effect. All right, so once you are happy with this here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our sound effect because we forgot to add our sound effect to the intro. And it's gonna be here in the logo sting. So you can just go into that folder, this collection here, logo sting sound effects, and you have 25 for the 25 different logos. So we are working with number 15, as you can see, logo 15. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and select 15, and we're gonna hit import selected. 
And now we can see we have number 15. So just click and drag that and make sure they're, they match the same length. And now if you go back and I go ahead and push play, and I disable the audio, looks super cool and it sounds cool too. So we're gonna go back to the graphics collection actually and we're gonna go up to the social media kind of category area and we're gonna select this one which is the hashtag title one which I thought was in the titles for some reason but it's gonna be here and all you gotta do is click and drag this to where you think will look the best and I'm gonna drag this right above the actual backpack shot and ignore the length for now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the title here. So I'm gonna move this over here so where I can see all of the title and I'm gonna change the text in the inspector window Make it all caps and I'm gonna name this backpack for life. Once you're there, you can change the font of the actual text. So we're gonna go there and this little on-screen control kind of uh, wheel will allow you to change where you can place this. So we're gonna place this right in the center, which is gonna be about, I don't know, here maybe. And again, here you can change the gradient or you can do a solid color and you can click this and you know change this to like a orange color or a red or whatever color you want. So go back and push play. And then if you think this is again too long, we can just trim this. So right click, go to new compound, and we're gonna name this hashtag and press okay. I think I spelled that wrong, but that's okay. Press command R and just trim this down again. It's just like that, super cool. You can also make it a little longer if you want to try, you know, have it go on to the next clip. I think that looks a little better in my opinion. And then it's gonna go play through. This is, you know, a little bit kind of unneeded footage here. So what I want to do is I want to start it to where, you know, he picks up this here. So I'm going to press B. I'm going to trim that and delete it and just move this over. And then he moves it over to his other hand. And I think right there we can change it. So before he even moves it to his other hand, we're going to make another cut. Here's cleaning the lens here. I'm going to delete that and just move this over. And then right there we can do another sh another cut to where he is now picking up the actual lens. We can delete this, move it over. So right there, we can change it. I don't think we need the rest at this point. So we can go ahead and just delete the rest and then work on the next clip, which is this one. So I'm gonna move this one over. We're gonna take a listen as well. So right there, I actually want this clip to ha start right here, as you can see. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this actually longer and just push play. Press Command B, whoops, Command B on that one. And we can delete that. Hmm, let's see. I think right there where there's another clap, we're gonna change this one. So we're gonna trim that again and we're gonna move this all the way over. So he takes a photo. We're gonna make another cut there and he moves over and takes another photo. So Command B, delete this and move it, this clip over again. And right there, we can also make another trim, trim that piece. And then the next scene here, if I zoom out, it's going to be number six. So we're gonna drag that over. And I want this to start, so I'm gonna press B. I'm gonna cut that and delete it and drag it over. And then there, I'm gonna cut that piece. I think that looks, I think the length for that one is good. And we're gonna, He's smiling, all giggles, white. Right? We're gonna delete that and just have it start there. So we're gonna trim that. And then when he's looking, it's gonna almost pan off. So we're gonna delete that and delete the, be the beginning. And we're gonna move this over here. And then that's where I want it to end, right here. So now we can trim this song and delete it. So now we only are working with almost 30 seconds. I think that's pretty good for like, let's say an ad or something. So once we're here, we can just finally add, you know, another cool graphic. So we can go back to the graphics collection here and we can add the poll, the Instagram poll, which is something kind of new that I haven't seen yet. And we're gonna drag that onto our timeline, which is kind of cool. So if I go down here, it's gonna be called Instagram poll. I'm gonna drag that right above our media. And the cool about this is they act as titles, so we can easily see where they are in the timeline. So I'm gonna click and drag this. You can move this anywhere you want. I'm gonna move it to the left, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better on screen, of course. And to change what it says, just go into the uh, inspector tab over here, go to text, and for the the, the one on the left here where it says scrambled eggs, we can change that there. But for the main text, we're gonna do better, I suppose, <laughs> for this video. And then the left poll will say, we can do all caps first, and then just like an Instagram, we can do like second or something. And then for the first font, we can make that bigger. 
And then as well for number the second one, we can make that a lot bigger. And then you can also move these. So you can move this to the left, like so. Make sure that's centered. Just like that. And then right here, we can actually make a transition with the sound effect. So we can go into transitions and we can add another glitch transition, which is pretty cool. We can also add a different one here. We have like rec you know, rectangles. So I'm gonna click and drag one of these just to see which one looks the best. And I'm gonna drag that over. So there you go. So now if we go back and if, of course you can add more you know, graphics and titles to this if you want. Some kind of title, like something simple, I suppose. And I, for some reason I can't find the original title, but I'm just gonna click and drag one just so you guys can see what it looks like. Do something like that, or you know, you can do something like this one here. But if I go back and I play the original video, So I hope you guys found this video helpful at all. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. And I will catch you on my next video. Peace out.